All right, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. WWE 2K20 made me so angry that I broke my controller. Look at that. That is not how the controller is supposed to be. It's also broken up here. And the R2 button does not work anymore. This is what it's supposed to do. If you do that, look at that. I completely broke it. So now I gotta get a new controller. But I'm also selling this game. It is the worst. Listen. I have given up completely. I, I'm giving up on the WWE product. Like the shows, the pay-per-views. I just don't care. I gave up on Friday Night Smackdown two weeks in because I just don't care. I've given up. I gave up on Raw a long time ago. I only watch NXT now. And I didn't want to give up on the game yet. I was close to, but last year I felt like it was in a step in the right direction. This, this year's game was a massive step down in all aspects. Graphically, it's a step down controlling uh, is a step down glitches are more plentiful in this game than any other uh just bugs all over the place content that's not in the game uh on release i mean it's just ridiculous i got um the collector's edition of the game um which the physical memorabilia of the game uh, for for the stuff i got is cool. The, I got an autograph from Edge. I got that ring, the 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 ring from SmackDown back from like 2002, or whatever. The skirt from it. Uh, it's cool. Those things are cool. Everything else, I hate. I hate. What? The, let me give you a little review here. What What is good about this game? There's not much. There's not much. 2K Originals. I, I mean, they're okay. Um. Th that is ultimately what I played the game for for so long, for these first few days. Um, but I've given up on everything else. Um, my career mode is boring. I, get, I, I, I stopped playing an hour and a half in uh, because I just don't care. It's cringe-inducing garbage. Um, it's just, it's not fun. It's not fun playing. Um... I have I didn't even touch 2K Showcase because I don't care. I didn't touch it last year. I don't care about that. Why would I care to relive the the careers of four women who I've been following their entire when I've been following their entire career ever since I got to WWE? They're only gonna show what you did that they did in WWE. So why should I care? Um, I've already seen it in real life. I can go back and watch it on the WWE Network if I want to. I don't need to play it in a video game. I can understand why other people might want to, but I don't need to. I've seen it all. Um, uh, what else? What else is good about this game? Creating a superstar. Uh, again, again, it's good as always. Um, just plentiful things. You can spend hours just messing with it. Um, universe mode. Good lord. If there's anything in this game that needs a complete revamp, it's universe mode. Absolutely needs a revamp. Little to no changes every single year. Um, what made me break my controller? I'm sure you're wondering. Um, well, uh, the game. Three times I was in a match, right? Three times it broke on me. I know that sounds like that's unlikely. But it did. I experienced some giant bug, some glitch that just screwed me over or just made it not fun. Um, and it's just, it's gotten to the point to where it's so noticeable, you can't even enjoy the game anymore. It doesn't feel realistic. It doesn't feel like real life anymore. I want, I want, if I'm going to play a simulated based, simulation based wrestling game i want it to feel like i'm actually watching a show or playing on a show the glitches make it very hard 
Now, there was glitches last year, but it's just way worse this year. Like, last year, you, you could deal with it. You could deal with it. It wasn't game-breaking. They, they weren't just completely noticeable in every corner. It is... This year, it is completely noticeable. You, you experience it every match you're in. You experience at least one glitch every single time. And I can't take it anymore. I got angry with the game, and yes, I know, I'm an idiot. I threw my controller. It still turns on. I can I can turn it on, but what are the what is the point when the R2 button doesn't work? Like you can't do anything without it. Most games, especially if you're playing like a first person shooter or any kind of shooter of the matter, of that matter, you need the R2 button. It's what you use to shoot and it doesn't re when I press it it doesn't react to anything I do. And I, you don't need to tell me I'm an idiot. I know I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have done it. And it was, it's not it's not the game's fault. It, it is my fault, but it did make me do it. Um, I don't know how to explain that, but... Yeah, it made me so angry. I stupidly threw it on the ground, on the hardwood floor of my bedroom, and broke it. It went... F and I just... I slammed it down, too. I, like... Picked it up and held it like this, and like, whew, and it bounced, and then I was like, and then it disconnected. So I thought I completely broken, br broke it, but I was able to pick it back up, and I turned it back on. I'm like, okay, it still works. But then I saw, right, uh, if it will focus right there, that it doesn't look good. I'm like, oh man, that sucks. But at least it's still playable. And then I didn't notice that it was up here too, um, and that 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 button doesn't the r2 button doesn't work anymore i don't even think that button works anymore either like like that works but i don't know if that'll still re i think it still does react it just sounds different um it feels different too it feels loose um but yeah i've completely given up on this game i'm selling the game i'm selling the game games hopefully gamestop will still give you a lot for it because it's giving me $27, I think it is. I've got money, but I don't want to use it to buy a new controller. I'm going to sell the game and buy a new controller with it, that money. Um, I didn't want to do that, and I didn't want to sell the game because I got the pre-ordered version. I got the collector's edition. It was a lot of money. But what are you going to do? Like, you don't want to keep something that's not fun, right? I, you buy a game... To have fun with it and I have not had any fun with it at all it's it, I've officially given up on WWE 2k